In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a remote Git repository. We'll use the repository that we created in the previous uh, demonstration that was named My Sandbox. So, so to start out, we're going to launch the XTML editor. We're going to um, select a workspace for the editor. In this case, I'm going to call it Workspaces Training. Now, after launching the editor, we'll switch to the Git repository perspective. In the Git repository perspective, we see several options. Add an existing local Git repository, clone a Git repository, or create a new local repository. In this case, we're going to clone um, a remote Git repository, so we select that option. Now at this point, we're, we need to, to enter the URI for the remote Git repository. We find that by going to the by going to github.com. When we log into GitHub github.com, we see all of our repositories. We'll, we'll select the repository created in the previous video, my sandbox. And we then can see the URI for this repository. And we copy this URI to the clipboard by selecting the option to copy it to the clipboard. Now once copied to the clipboard, we can come back to Eclipse and paste the URI in into the, uh, the, op the option where it's required. At this point, we have to authenticate on github.com by entering our username and password. If there are any branches in the remote repository, this screen allows you to select which branches that you're going to bring down to your local repository. In this case, since we just created this repository, there are no branches. Now, this, this screen allows you to select the local, the local folder where the Git repository will be stored. This is very, it's very important here that we select a location that is not under the Eclipse workspace. In this case, as you'll recall, when we, when we launched Eclipse, we opened this workspace under a folder called Workspaces Training. I'm going to create this Git repository on my machine in a folder called Git My Sandbox. Congratulations, you've now cloned the Git repository.